Good morning to you. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. Uh, look at this right here. Today's video, uh, if you guys are paying attention in the last video, then you probably already saw what the next mile was going to be. They just been sitting here, man. They just been sitting here forever. Stainless works, catless mid pipes. We're going to go ahead and throw them on today, man. I've been holding on to them for a while. Same thing with the JLT. And, you know, I'm tired of holding on to them. So, let me go grab uh, an important piece of the puzzle real quick. Alrighty, so I got these little guys right here, and I'm going to show you guys how uh, what they look like before and after you put them together and show you how to put them together uh, in this next little clip right here. So right here, I have some Vibrant Performance little O2 simulators, and all you're going to do is put it together like this one I have already done here. It comes in a pack. It's going to be this, this piece right here, and... This washer is going to be here, and then there's a little snap ring that I already put into this one. It's already in there. You can see it. Here's the other one for the, the second one right here. And the snap ring goes inside to lock in one of these two, I guess, washers. I'm, I'm not sure with spacers. I don't, I don't know what these are, but uh, you just pick which size you want. Uh, most people choose the middle one, so that's which one I'm going to roll with. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to come in here and swap out try a different one it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass so i hope the middle one works for me put my washer back on that one but i'm going to show you guys how to do this before we get outside and start messing around and then we got to come inside because i don't want to lose any parts and whatnot to figure this out so you got your little snap ring tool you can pick one of these up a little i picked this one up at AutoZone. i think it was like 12 bucks or something like that or you get cheaper ones online for like seven or eight bucks all you're going to do is snap it on in it's a, bit of, it's a bit of a pain. Put the two little prongs in there like you see. And it needs to, there's a little groove inside there. I don't know if you guys can see there or not. There's a little groove in there. Let's see if we get closer. And you got to make sure this little guy goes in that groove so this doesn't happen. There you go. So that guy doesn't fall out. So pop him in. Take your little snap ring tool. Squeeze it together as tight as you can. And you're just going to try to manhandle it in there it's as best as I can say it to make your life easier for this one time that you're going to use these just just go ahead and buy them there you go and it's in there just like that oh there's my washer good to go all right, so now that we got the O2 simulators, and these are going to prevent a check engine light, or they, they should. They're supposed to. Some people say they don't work. Some people say they've had them on for a year or two with no tune, and then they've had no check engine light yet. So uh, figure for 40 bucks, why not give them a try? And you can find these for a lot cheaper than 40 bucks. but I bought them from MMX, and this guarantees fitment with the uh, Catalyst Mint Pipes and the Hemi Platform. So that's why I just went ahead with that for peace of mind. And if it doesn't work, oh well, uh, I guess I'd be needing a tune here shortly. So we're right now we're waiting for the car to, to cool down. I just got back from uh, getting the sound clip for you guys. We're going to post a before and after sound clip uh, at the end of the video to show you before and after the Catalyst Mids. So right now it's just a muffler delete through the stock exhaust. And uh, once we get it all done and, and, and put on, uh, we'll go back out there and we'll record part two. And everything's going to be at the end of the video, so you don't have to, you know, you, you can easily swap between the two and, and see uh, the difference between the difference of sound and volume between the, the, the muffler delete and then the muffler delete with the Catless Mids. So, right now, we're just waiting for it to cool down. I'll say, I don't know, I'll, there's my little fan. That's, that's what's making the noise, by the way. My little fan is angled towards the, at least one of the cats, so it should cool at least one of them down. And, um,. Once it's all cooled down, we'll come out here, we'll start this thing, and it doesn't look like too hard of a job. I've already got everything that I need it. As a matter of fact, we're going to go back here and go ahead and uh, take the, uh, unplug the negative terminal on the battery right now. All right, here we go. We got my little 10 millimeter on our negative terminal. Just going to pop her off. Shouldn't be too hard. Let me just put you guys down for a second. All right, so it took two hands to go ahead and manhandle that thing off of there. It was a little snug, but see the lights are out. 
terminals off. Now we're just gonna wait for it to cool down. Set that there, so I shouldn't need it anymore. Uh, all right, so while we're waiting for that, we're gonna take some of this here anti seize, go ahead and hit the two O2 simulators inside and out, and then we're gonna rub a little bit on the the threads of the the mid pipes themselves. Pop that out. Probably should have some gloves when doing this, but I ain't got none, so just gonna roll with it. Pop a hole. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Get out of here! It was leaking. Just grab a grab a smidge. Put it down on this piece of wood here. Man, grab my bucket. Just dollop some in there. Actually, watch out because this little washer will fall off. And around the edges. Oh, I should definitely. I should definitely have some gloves for this. This is not pretty. Oh man. This is not pretty. Yeah. <laughs> About to be looking like Tin Man out here. With all the threads. And definitely get it off of the car. Set this one down over here. Grab the next one. Same thing, up in there, move the treads up, set my little deal down, move up the treads, should probably just put it right up there, but whatever, nice and yucky, alright, set this one down too, I'm going to just throw a little bit on the mid pipes as well, but you guys don't need to see that. You know how to loop stuff up. All right, two of you. Um, yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to record that. Uh, I, I got so frustrated with this guy right here. So the videos that I watch, they literally just pop these right out. That is not the case. You hit the little tab, and then for some reason, you got to like pry down on this part right here, which is damn near impossible because this one faces up. And the driver's side faces down like it's supposed to. But uh, I, I guess I got the hardest out of the way first. Also, another thing that it didn't show you. Look how beat up my bolts are. Is because once you get these two, two little guys off right here. You still have to get a, a, a Torx bit to run these guys out of the top. So these guys right here hold it in tight. Keep it all clamped together nice and, nice and good. The top parts run into the headers or the manifold, whatever you want to call it. And you need a Torx bit to run those out of that side. So that wasn't explained in anything that I watched. And of course, it's not on the instructions. It literally just says remove bolts and do that. It's not near as simple to straightforward. Like, I, for once, it would be nice to just do something that's simple and straightforward. This is why I, this is why I don't like touching these damn cars. This is, this is why right here. Because the minute you touch them, the minute you touch them, you think it's, oh, that, that looks pretty simple. No. Nope. nope, it's not. So I'm be careful not to bend up my damn O2 sensor. I'm getting it over here so I can measure it up for you guys. Put it right here. All right, grab the nearest mid pipe with the band. Not, 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 not near straightforward, I'll tell you that. That's super frustrating. All right, so let's try to hold it up as best as I can. It's not even registering, all right. Okay, didn't even register. three pounds yesterday now today it doesn't weigh anything okay this is considerably he heavier and I bet you this one picks up look it's already registering 13 pounds so there's a two pound weight difference Jesus fucking Christ man this is frustrating it's pissing me off it really is now let's start on the other fucking so it's almost off this is what I was saying about it being a pain in the ass, man. Like, I, I, th that side was just stupid all around. This was so much smoother, probably because I learned what not to screw up on that side and how to make it so much easier. But this top bolt up here, 
that guy right there it's a painted ass on both sides I don't know it like gets wedged in there so you gotta like try to shimmy it out of there it's 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 a it's a that guy right there I don't I don't know if it's snapping the picture or what but I'm just gonna pull it out and then pick up once we get them both out <sighs> all right tube you both sides are now out right side so much easier I'm just gonna hit the hit it with some WD-40 try to loosen up them threads a little bit oh man that was painful guys I'm not gonna lie oh shit I'm not gonna lie man top five top five worst worst things I've ever done oh god I'm about to fall I'm never doing that again never doing this again this is this is why this is why people pay people this is why people get paid to do stuff because we don't want to do it this is pain in the ass I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy getting mad at my car. I like enjoying my car. Working on it, you just get pissed at it, man. I, ne I never, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe, maybe I'm just too stupid to understand. Maybe I, I'm not a hashtag real car guy. But this ain't it, Chip. This ain't it. Let me grab my O2, my O2 simulators. Go ahead and drop them down in here. My little washer. Get a freaking thread going. Jesus, peasy. See that? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Where's the other one? Stick the other one in there. So far, so good. Never doing this again. Never again. Alrighty, tube you. That was a lot easier than getting them out. O2 sensors on, and O2 sensors on inside the uh, O2 simulators, or plugged it. I, I don't know, man. The the things, the spacers. There we go. O2 spacers. We'll just call them those. Um, and nothing's broken yet. So, fingers crossed, it goes in a lot smoother than they came out. Cause that was not fun. That was not fun at all. But just look at the size difference, man. Look at this. This is huge. Oh. Right. So we're going to go ahead and do the worst side first. Slide these under there. And I'm going to go ahead and slide on the car myself. All right. Get up under here. Progress update, YouTube. One side is kind of in. I got it, like, mostly hanging. I just wasn't able to get the, the, uh, I don't know. I couldn't get the, the, this end to slide into that end. God dang. Whatever that, that part, it's not going all the way in. It's like in there enough, but not all the way in. So I'll probably have a leak or whatever. And that's okay because one, once Monday gets here, I'm taking it to a Zal shop and they're going to finish it because I'm, I'm. I'm over it and I'm fed up. I don't care anymore. So I'm just gonna do the same to this, get it in there far enough, get it hooked up, and then try to fire it up. Hook the battery up, try to fire it up, and hope I don't have a freaking check engine light. Uh, as far as exhaust leaks, I'm pretty sure I will have an exhaust leak because, you know, it's not in there all the way. That's, that's to be expected, but I'll get it in there as much as I can, try to get both sides lined up as best as possible, and then tighten tighten it down enough to survive until Tuesday or whatever, whenever an exhaust shop opens up. I know, it might be one open tomorrow. If it is one open tomorrow, I'll just take it to them, have them check it out. But that's where we're at right now. Let's go ahead and get it in and pick back up after I get it in because it's just it's just not easy to record and struggle with this at the same time. I'm sorry. There's it's just not happening, especially without maybe if I had a, a actual lift and I could have the camera set back and looking up in there, but without a lift, this this is not happening, Chip. So you guys are just gonna have to wait. And we'll pick back up after it's in. Um I'm done. I don't I don't care anymore. It's supposed to be a simple in and out. I don't. I don't understand. Like I follow directions. It's just. It's, it's not. It's not very many directions. But, you know, in and out. Switch the bolts. 
switch the sensors. That's 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 all it should have been. Yet it wasn't. It, it was definitely not that easy. First, it was a pain in the ass just to get the pipes out because you know the heat and stuff makes them exp uh, uh, the carbon build up all that other jazz makes them a pain in the ass just to get out. But you can see they're in there enough, but it's not all the way in. So the passenger side was a bitch to take out, and the um, driver side was easy to take out. The driver side was the hardest to put in. The passenger side was the easiest to put in. I don't, I don't understand. The passenger side is in enough, not all the way. As you can see, that little Humpty Dump supposed to be a little further down in there. I would say maybe I've got not even, not even an eighth of an inch. Maybe, maybe that much of the pipe inside the uh, the the rest of the exhaust not 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 much at all not enough to stop any leaks and stuff as, as soon as i hit a bump it's going to come out and i i don't care i'm i'm done i'm i'm done so i'm just going to fire it up see how the fuck it sounds find the leaks and then we'll take it to get it fixed tomorrow i'm uh, i'm over it i don't care anymore and um yep yeah. <laughs> so let's go out here I, I can't even open the trunk because of the freaking battery's unplugged. FYI, don't unplug the battery and then uh, close the trunk because you can't reach it. All right, tube you. Moment of truth. Let's see how bad I screwed this up. Uh, also, you can see how this side sticks out further than this one. Stand parallel with that line. See how much further it sticks out? Because the exhaust is just pushing back or the... The mid pipes are just pushing on the freaking rest of the exhaust. But oh well. Let's fire it up and see how many leaks we got. See if we get a check engine light. seems to be good so far no check engine lights and it's very loud just as suspected all right to you um guess we'll just pick back up tomorrow man uh, as soon as i backed out of the driveway the exhaust note changed and i knew the exhaust had popped right back out of where it needed to be like when i first fired it up it sounded spectacular and as soon as i started backing up it sounded like a damn dump truck so i don't know it sounds pretty mean and it's not like it popped out completely is like I, I stick my hand behind it and I can still feel the exhaust like coming through. Obviously the sound is still coming through, but uh, as soon as I hop up under there, you can definitely hear that there's uh, some leakage going on. So tomorrow I'm going to probably one of the only shops that's open on a Sunday and we're going to try to get this thing fixed, man, because it's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be simple and nothing's ever simple. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's ever simple. So we'll pick back up tomorrow, man. Hopefully they can fix it. I'm, I'm, I, I was supposed to record some sound clips, but um, so far all I got was the, the cold start or kind of cold start. So uh, we'll pick back up. Whoa. Whoa. Get out of there. We'll pick back up tomorrow. What is going on, Tube You? Welcome back to day two of this fiasco, man. Here's here's my hand. Screwed it up pretty bad last night. Got a couple of scars, whatnot. Hand still dirty. Got that little guy right there. Uh, there's like little micro cuts under my fingernails and stuff, man. They, it's it was a headache, bro. I was over it, but I'm happy now. I'm satisfied, and I don't want to touch the car again. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if there's anything else needs to be done. I, I probably won't do it. I, I'm I'm tired, coach. I'm tired of touching it. So let me show you guys what was up. Uh, Stop on down. All right. I'm gonna, uh, I don't feel like going all the way under there, so we're just gonna do one of these. So you see this part right here with my fingers pointing? There's like a little lip right here where the mid pipes just would not get over. Also on this side, the two clamps that you see on both sides on this end, 
Uh, when I opened them up and loosened them all the way, uh, the pipes themselves have two little cuts in them. And that should allow it to expand or close, yada, 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 depends on whether you're loosening or tightening. Now, I loosened, and those holes or the little cuts, they didn't expand. They, it, it was not happening. They did not get loose. So, uh, it, it was the same on both sides. Both of them were tight as hell, and along with the, 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 the buildup that's already in there, it, it was not working, man. It was not working. Also, I didn't have a mallet, so there was no way I could even attempt to hammer the this side in it was it was it's not working so went out drove around all morning found a shop there was just a group of guys in the shop man i, didn't, I don't even know the shop name and it, it, it didn't even pop up on google i just happened to drive by and they had the doors up and i asked them and they were like yeah man we can help so pulled in so they got they got it in they got everything tightened down but as you can see right here this little guy it got snagged when i was backing out of the driveway and i was like it's good enough, man. Well, I'm, 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 I'm going home. <laughs> I'm tired. So, uh, eventually when it cools off, I'll get under there and tighten that down. But before that, I owe you guys some sound clips. So, uh, I'm going here, grab me a cameraman real quick. And then, um, I'll go out here and grab the sound clips. So yeah, yeah, that, that, that should be the end of this little video, man. So if it's your first time stopping by, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you guys get a notification when these videos go up. So go to the Instagram channel at low376 slow, all one word. I'll put that down in the description. And uh the a link to the mid pipes if you want to try to the, the wrestle yourself uh a set in yourself and a link to the O2 simulators to, to keep that check engine life from coming on, which we have not got yet. Um so yeah, uh stick around for the sound clips and uh I'll see you guys next time, man. I'm out. Peace. That's very loud. Jesus Christ. very deafening that's very very deafening although man between the scat pack and this this is uh i don't know i think the scat the scat pack might have it scat pack had like a, a scream to it it like screamed Sounds good. Sounds real nice.